Hi, Christian. Welcome. Hello, Welcome to Broker AXS. It's great to see you again. Would you like to go and take a quick look at how we build the diffractometers in the factory? That would be a great thing to do. OK, let's go do that. We're now in uh, mechanical production. These are the finished goniometer bases. So the next step in the production process is the milling of the groove ring, which you can see a finished piece here. What is the groove ring doing? So the groove ring is a key component. Um, it's actually where all of the X-ray source, the primary beam path, and any other accessories that might be added on later are all mounted onto that. Oh, I see. So what I wanted to show you is the machine behind us, which actually takes the block of raw aluminium here and then mills it down with high precision into the finished groove ring. So if we go take a look. And I think it's just finished now, so we can go and take a closer look. How long does it take to make this part? So it takes about 45 minutes for each piece, actually, yeah. So what we're looking at here is the groove ring again, and we're testing it for a second time before it leaves production to verify the precision and the accuracy of all of the, the machining and the holes and the diameters and the dimensions. So what is the accuracy you achieve? So we're actually testing around 50 positions here and uh, every, every one of them is verified in the micron range. So this behind us here is another turning milling machine which we use to make the Omega rings which you can see here. This is another key component in the precision of the final goniometer. So why don't we now go over to assembly and see how we put all of these parts together. Go ahead, please. Thank you. So this now is the assembly area where we start to put together the components to really build the, the finished final system. Well, here we are now in assembly. The first thing I wanted to show you is this machine here. So this is the final step in the goniometer production. And what this machine is doing is actually running in the bearings on the goniometer. What do you do that for? Well, what that does is actually really extends the longevity of the goniometer. So you can see now as we move through the assembly process, we're starting to see something that looks like a diffractometer finally. We've got the Kappa goniometer here and we've got the two sources and the primary beam paths mounted on there. Oh, and now I see what the groove ring is actually for. Yeah, you can see the, the source and the primary beam path are already mounted on there. At which point do you place the detector here? Well, it's good you asked that. That's where, what we're going to go and look at next. This is one of the detector assembly stations. Um, so you can see the engineer now is just putting the cover on another detector there. Do you build that yourself? Yeah, we build and uh, assemble all of the detector components ourselves. We calibrate the sensors and we do the detector testings. All of that is done in-house in the factory. Take a seat. Thank you. So this is where we test the sphere of confusion of the goniometer now to confirm that it's within the specified limits before we release it. So here we are now in the test field. So this is where all the fully assembled systems are, are tested. Um, this is the first time that the assembled systems will see x-rays. And the first thing we do then is we do the x-ray safety certification on those. We then go on to test uh, the final alignment and the final integration of the system. And that would include also collecting test data on the single crystal device? Yes, yeah, so on a single crystal device, we'd use a standard test crystal and then we collect data sets on that. And then that then validates the performance of the entire diffractometer. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the factory. Well, thank you very much. This was a really great opportunity. Okay, so we're back in the application lab. Yeah, now we have the finished product, the fully functional D8 Venture. 
Would you like to make a measurement? Yes, of course. Well, go ahead. So, crystal is mounted. Close the doors. Fantastic. And off we go.